Hey guys, welcome back to the Semi Live this week. We just wrapped up turkey season here a couple of days ago in Wisconsin. Um, had an awesome spring chasing birds. Started in Nebraska, chased them in Iowa, and uh, chased them in Wisconsin for the last probably, well, month and a half. So uh, just wrapped up turkey season. Now it is uh, time to get back in whitetail mode and we are actually at my family's property in Wisconsin today. We got a cage tower blind that we're going to be assembling today. We kind of wanted to show you guys um, how we go about putting that together, how it shows up in the in the mail when it comes. We've got a cage blind with the eight foot tower here today that we're going to be assembling. The tower comes in two different boxes. As you can see this is a big big box here. This is going to be the platform piece. And then we've also got a bunch of uh, poles and stuff in that in the, that box there. So we'll uh, we'll go ahead and unbox all this stuff. We do have the blind right next to Aaron's feet right now. Um, as you can see, we already have that out of the box. We are actually using that blind turkey hunting here this spring. Um, had a couple good hunts out of the cage blind. Uh, but today we're on the family property in Wisconsin. My brother's got a young daughter that is getting into hunting with him and he just wanted something that uh, those two could sit in together and uh, have some good hunts, be uh, comfortable, and be elevated and be able to see out into the fields here on the property. So we are gonna rip this out of the box, um, show you guys how to put it together, and uh, once we get the tower put together here inside, we'll be hauling it out to the field, putting it up, getting it in place, get it leveled, and then we'll go ahead and pop the blind up and, and she'll be set by the time we're done with it. So. Let's get after it. All right, so we just went ahead and uh, busted open these two boxes. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of pieces. Can't be intimidated by it. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go through and separate out all the pieces, and then we will get into the instructions. This is the third or fourth blind that we have put together, tower blind that we've put together. And uh, we are a little overwhelmed the first time we busted open these boxes. But once you separate everything out, stay organized and follow the step-by-step -step instructions, it is honestly super easy to put these things together. So we're gonna separate it out and get started. So this is obviously one of the pieces for the platform. There's two pieces here. Um, you're gonna lay them upside down and you'll be assembling the legs pretty much downward. That way you're not up in the air. And uh, when you're all said and done, you'll be flipping her up, so. So you got your two platform pieces here, and you've got one other small platform piece here. Um, what this is, is where the ladder will come up on the back side of the platform. This is kind of your, your way to step on and, cl and climb into the blind. So this will be off one of the corners here. I'm not sure which one yet. But. So then we've got our ladder. Which we'll just kind of set that off to the side for now. Just want to get this all organized. These are our four pieces that are gonna come off the bottom of the platform and what the legs will attach to. So we'll get those all off to the side together. These are the, the handrails for the ladder. Um, these will be right up towards the top of the ladder, something that you can grab onto um, and use as support as you're climbing in and out of the tower.
All right, so we got box number one, the bigger box, um, busted open, got all the pieces laid out, separated. Um, in that box, you pretty much you had the platform, you had the ladder, the handrails, and the legs for the platform. Box number two, um, these are pretty much all the support systems. You can see here the, the feet for the ends of the legs, which are all self-leveling. We will show you the, that later. Um, more handrails for going up the ladder. And uh, see this, the ground stakes and also the box. This is where all the hardware is. Um, and like I said, we will go through here step-by-step -step instructions lay this all out and show you guys how easy it is to put this tower together. So pretty much all of the hardware, not pretty much, all of the hardware is in this box right here. So we're gonna get into this and uh, the bags are labeled for each step in the instructions, which is really nice because you can lay them out, <coughs> stay organized and not lose anything. <coughs> so this is the tie down cable. This is gonna be one of the last steps. This will anchor the, the platform to the ground and we'll do that at the very end. So as you can see, all the hardware is individually split up into baggies and all the steps are labeled. So I'm just gonna flip these all over so I can read the steps and then I'm gonna put them in order. And you'll notice when you are putting these steps together, once we lay these out, you'll notice that there isn't a bag for every single step. So step one, step two, This is what I'm talking about. You get to step eight, there's no bag for step nine, which you'll find out later when you're going through the instructions. Step nine's probably standing something up or doing something where you don't need hardware. So you just skip those steps. So I'm gonna leave a blank spot there for step nine. So we got 10, 11, 12, 13, then you don't have a 14, so another blank, 15, and then you have 19, 21, and this is gonna be used with the tie down cable at the end. <coughs> so like I said, the hardware comes step-by-step -step baggies, which is super convenient. Um, all the stuff that you need for each step in these instructions is individually split up into these bags, which is, makes it super nice, because otherwise you'd have a big box of hardware different sizes, different lengths, and it would just make it a headache. But they've got all these steps broken down into individual bags, makes it super easy. Okay, so step number one, we've got the platform laid out here on the ground exactly how it's gonna sit. We do have it flipped upside down. You're gonna have, in step number one, three short platform braces, which are these guys right here. And then you're gonna have two longer platform braces, which are these two guys right here. One thing you want to note about the longer ones, one of them's got this eye hook in the bottom, and this is going to be your tie-down point um, later on. So you just want to 
kind of pay attention. In the instructions, you can actually see where that one is. And this is going to be in the dead center of the platform, like I said. That's going to be your tie down point um, when you get to get outside and it's time to anchor it down. So we are going to go ahead and attach these to the platform using step number one, hardware bag. By the end of this step, all this hardware is going to be used up and you'll go to step number two, hardware bag, moving into step number two. So step one and step two were kind of tied together. We had the two main pieces of the platform. Um, you can kind of see a split right here down the middle. Piece one, piece two. Uh, step one and two were attached to the three short braces, which you got one, two, and then three down by the ground. And then you have the two long braces. You got one up top and you got one in the center. And like I said, you gotta make sure you got the one in the center that's got this hook on the bottom. This is gonna be your tie down point when you go to uh, anchor down the platform. So we've got all of those pieces attached. We are gonna flip this thing down on its back and move on to step number three. All right, so step number three is uh, securing the two platforms together. We have the braces on, but now we're gonna secure the platforms together um, into each other versus on the braces. So we're gonna grab step number three, hardware, and that's what we're gonna do. So when you're securing the platforms together, um, you can see holes here, 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 and here. So four different points of contact. And conveniently, step number three bag has four bolts and four nuts. Dump those out. We'll just run them through each hole. So we just completed step number three, securing the two platforms together. I'm um, gonna move on to step number four. Grab baggie number four. And uh, what we're gonna do here is put the entry platform on the end of the platform. As you can see, uh, the two longer braces overhang from the earlier steps. We're just gonna slide this piece under here. And in this step, we're gonna attach it from the top and bottom, here and here. And then we are gonna attach it sideways, here and here. All right, we just finished step number four. Um, platform is completely secured. Uh, the step on part of the platform is now attached and secured as well which takes us to step number five, which is gonna be attaching the four leg to platform, which we've got set off to the side over here. Um, it's these four pieces, and these are gonna to attach to the bottom of the platform, and this is what the legs will pop into and attach to. You'll notice that one end is fat, and one end is skinnier with two holes. These, the end with two holes is what's gonna to attach to the platform right now, and the fatter end is where the leg is gonna later pop in here. So you'll go on each corner of the blind and you'll see two diagonal holes from each other and that's where these are gonna fit. Right like that and you have the leg, the fat end of the leg pointing outward. So we're gonna go around all four corners and attach these at this time. All right, so step five is done. All the leg attachments are attached to the bottom of the platform and secured. Uh, moving on to step number six, we are gonna have the two uh, entry platform J-tubes, which are very similar to the legs. They're just a little bit smaller in size. And this is, uh, we're gonna attach this um, to the entry platform. And this is where the, the ladder will later attach to the bottom of these. Moving on to step seven. We are gonna put the entry railing and then what they call the railing connector. So the entry railing are these two pieces, the one in my hand, the one on the floor here, and this is the railing connector. Just pretty much like a safety bar um, over the top of your head when you're coming in and out of the blind. 
So we are going to attach these um, to the ladder. And uh, yeah, step number seven. Hey guys, welcome back to another First Light in the Field. JP and I are in Wisconsin. It is the first part of June. It's starting to get warmer here in the summer. I am wearing the First Light Guide Light pants. And these pants are just that. They are lightweight, breathable. They're great for summer work. And uh, you can also use them early season hunting when the temperatures are warm. Uh, just a good option here for uh, doing summer work. And like I said, early season hunting. So if you haven't already, head over to firstlight.com and check out the guide light pants. All right, so step number seven's done. As you can see, we've got the platform done. We've got the leg attachments attached, assembled and now we have the handrails attached to the top of the platform. Next step is gonna be step number eight. We are gonna assemble each of the four legs and get them ready to go on the bottom of the platform. So to do that, you've got four long pieces, which are your legs, right here. And then you also have the adjustable feet for the legs, which are these four. You'll notice there's two other smaller similar pieces those are for the ladder these four bigger ones are for the legs so we're going to bring these over here by the legs bust them out of the plastic grab step number eight hardware and get these assembled so we got our four legs and we still we have our four adjustable feet so what we're going to do as you can see here these adjustable feet have five holes and this, you can later loosen these and adjust them. And this is gonna allow you to uh, set the blind up and level it on unlevel un ground, essentially. So when we're gonna, when we put these together here to start, we're gonna make it as high as possible. So the blind's as tall as possible. So we're just gonna put it for now in the first hole. And we're gonna do that on all four legs. If later we have to, uh, change some of these to get it level we'll do so at that time and then also with the brace to leg attachments further up the leg you'll notice another hole here that's where this brace of leg attachments going to go these are going to be used for support bars later um, but we're going to attach them here during step number eight all right so step number nine is simply assembling the cross braces and uh so we've got eight braces that have a male end, which are these longer braces. And then we have eight braces that have the female end. You'll notice here for step nine that there is not a hardware bag because this step is simply inserting the male end to the female end and setting it aside. <clears throat> so we're gonna take all eight and just simply attach them. So now that we have all four sets of braces set off, kind of split up, we're gonna go to step 10 hardware and grab the nuts and bolts out of there and go ahead and secure these together. We have all the cross braces assembled. There's four of them. We've got them tightened and they're set off to the side right now. Um, that's gonna take us to step number 11, which is assembling the ladder. The ladder comes in three pieces. You'll notice one of the three pieces does not have a female end. That is going to be your bottom piece. So you'll have a female end when I'm saying female end, you got the big fat ends up here where something can slide into it. Male end at the top, female end, slot these in. Male to female, and then do that again with the third piece. And 
and then you'll have a male end here at the bottom because that doesn't that just goes into the adjustable foot. We are about halfway through the assembly of the cage blind here in the tower. Um, just wanted to go ahead and take a second to uh, tell you about a new hat we got coming out. It just went live on the website. It is our kind of our summer patriotic hat, red, white, and blue TBP patch hat. Um, limited order on these. Hopefully you can get yourself one before the 4th of July. Like I said, we got a limited order. If we sell out fast, we might do another rack. But uh, head over to BreakingPointTV.com and get yourself one of these before the 4th of July. All right, step 12. We have went ahead and tipped the platform on its side because step 12 is going ahead and putting all four of the legs into the leg ports, I guess you, you can call them. But we assembled those to the bottom of the platform earlier. So we're gonna take the four legs, pop them into place. And when we do this, we also have those four brackets left over from earlier and we're going to attach those to the leg at this time also that's going to give us a place to attach the support beams here later Well, we just got the braces attached on all four sides. We didn't film it, uh, it was a two-man job. Um, pretty much just attached one brace on each side, rolled the plat or rolled the entire tower, and then just kept keep doing each side until all four sides are done. Um, we got one more step to do here before we stand this thing up, and that is attaching the cable. And the reason you wanna do that now is because it's down here where you can actually reach it once we stand this platform up. It's gonna be up above our head. We ain't gonna be able to reach it. So we're gonna take the cable that comes in, the box of uh, hardware, and there's two clamps, and we're just gonna run it through this bottom rung, right in the center of the platform. We're going to go ahead and tighten these clamps. All right, so as you can see, we have the cable now attached to the bottom of the platform. Both of the clamps are on and secured. We've got everything done up to this point, so now we can stand this tower up. Um, just so we're not fighting the ceiling and the garage door, what we're going to do now is we are going to slide the tower outside and stand it up and then finish everything we can before heading out into the field with it. Tower is assembled. We just tipped it down on the trailer. We've got to haul it a few hundred yards to where we're going to be putting it. Um, so we just threw the blind on the trailer, ladder, and um, our remaining pieces and hardware. We're going to stuff in JP's vehicle, pull it out to the setup spot, and continue. All right, so we just got the tower hauled out here. As you can see, it's right next to an old box stand. This box stand is, I think we made this the first year I started hunting, so 22 years ago. This box has seen its better days. It's uh, getting retired and replaced by the cage blind. We've got the tower sitting right where we want it. As you can see, we're kind of on a slope. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and adjust the, the feet on two sides of the legs and uh, get this thing leveled. And then uh, we'll continue with uh, getting everything set.
All right, so we got the tower in place. We had to adjust the feet a little bit to get it level. And we're on a pretty decent slope right here. So we also brought a shovel, a spade shovel with us and had to dig out a couple of the corners, but we got it level. Next step in the process is uh, taking the auger and we're gonna drive this in the ground um, directly underneath the cable that comes off the center of the platform. We're gonna drive this into the ground and tighten it up with a cable. And then after that, we're gonna go around to all four legs and uh, stake the corners. When putting the auger in, it's important that you're as close to center as possible. So kind of just let this cable hang down and wherever it free hangs, that's gonna be pretty close to center. So we'll drive the auger in right here. Once we get her tight, we'll probably use a hammer or some kind of, th some kind of tool so we can really crank this thing tight into the ground. So we went ahead and we drove the auger into the ground and then we came with our cable that comes off the bottom of the platform. We put the clamps back on here and as you can see, it's not completely tight right now. So we're gonna take the hammer into the auger and we're gonna twist it to tighten this up. Because as it drives the auger deeper into the ground, it's really firming up that cable. We don't want to go super tight, but we do want it pretty snug. That should be good right there. So now that we got that in place, she's snugged up. We're going to go around and using the hammer, we're going to drive the stakes in on all four corners of the legs. All right, so we have the tower all assembled, in place, leveled. Next step is getting the cage blind itself out of the bag, popping it up, getting it put together, and getting it up on there. Like I said earlier, we were using this thing the, um, this spring, turkey hunting, off the ground. But now she's time Time to go on the tower. So you'll notice in the blind bag, you got the blind itself and then you have two smaller bags. This first bag um, has the spreader poles in it. I see someone put a nice knot in this, so. Either. It's probably me to be honest. JP's taking the blame. But the first pole, like it's, or the first bag, like I said, has the spreader poles. We'll dump all those out. <clears throat> and then the second bag, which we shouldn't need today, are just ground stakes, and that's for if you're using the blind on the ground. We'll probably use a couple of these stakes to secure the ladder to the ground, but other than that, we won't need those today. <clears throat> so this blind, Essentially, it's like a four-sided pop-up blind. All you do is you pop it up. We got the blind popped open. We have all the spreader poles in place, locked in place. And uh, we went ahead and opened up the windows just so we could kind of see what's going on when we get up there so it ain't dark in the blind. I'm gonna climb up on the platform. JP's gonna kind of lift it up to me. We're gonna get it up there and then we'll show you guys how we fasten it to the platform. All right, so we got the blind up on the platform and we went around to all four corners. Um, there's a base plate that fastens down to the corner of the blind. Last step of the process, I think it's step number 21, right? 
There's three long poles and one short one. The short one goes over on the side where the platform or where the ladder comes up and these three longer ones go on the other side. And you'll notice, I'll show you here in a second. There's a, a slot here, the side, each side of the blind. And all you do is you feed this through. Slide that all the way through. And then there's one final bag of hardware, which is gonna allow you to fasten these. You can see holes here and then down on that other end. So you're gonna tighten that onto the platform. You're gonna do that on all four sides. You're gonna be ready to rip. So what I just did there uh, is the final step of the entire process. We got the tower put together. We got the blind fastened to the tower. And uh, what we went ahead here is this roof hub is under spring tension. So it's got this tightening knob that really tightens everything up and really strengthens it up. So we tightened that, made sure she was tight, um, and we're done. This uh, probably took us, with filming, took us about five, six hours. But we did take a lunch break and filming probably added at least another hour because uh, a two-man job turned to one. But we got her together, got her in place, and this thing will sit here for years and years and uh, just be an awesome, awesome hunting spot for my family. Um, like I said, my brother's got some young girls that are starting to get into the outdoors, so this will give them a comfortable sit and uh, should be uh, a pretty good spot here on the property. Well, there you have it. Cage blind on the tower, all the assembly, um, all in one video. We wanted to more or less show you guys how this blind and tower showed up at your doorstep in the boxes, pulling it out, assembling it step by step. Might have been boring, but eventually somebody down the road is gonna find this beneficial when they're having issues putting this thing together. But uh, real simple, all the instructions are to a T, all the hardware is labeled, easy step by step. Um, if you haven't already, check out Cage Blinds. If you're looking for an affordable, permanent blind, this is gonna be about half the price of the competitors. So head over to cageblinds.com and give these guys a look.